Bazylika Archikatedralna Świętych Apostołów Piotra i Pawła, or no, also known as Poznań Cathedral. This cathedral is one of the oldest cathedrals here in Poland, dating back to the 10th century. Many believe that Poland started here once Mieszko I started turning Poland into Christianity. A very important site indeed. Behind me is the city hall and we're waiting here because at noon two little goats will pop out from there and butt heads and the legend goes like this a cook was preparing a veal dinner when he got distracted and the, and the dinner burned down so in order to make it up he went to the nearby pasture and he kidnapped two goats when he was trying to cook them those two goats escaped and they climbed all the way to the top of the building the mayor saw this and he liked it so much that he ordered the clock master to design two goats fighting heads and every day at noon they come out and people come and enjoy the spectacle. I hope you guys enjoyed that little show. Behind me is a beautiful church that I have to use my note card for a cheat sheet. Bazylika Marii Bożej Nieustannej Pomocy Świętej Marii Magdaleny i Świętego Stanisława Biskupa w Poznaniu, or simply Poznańska Fara. This beautiful church is one of the most important landmarks here in Poznań and it was built in the 17th century. It also contains a legend that a woman purchased a beautiful organ inside the church and when she passed away her ghost guards the organ. Let's go have a look inside. When you're in Poznań, one of the things you have to try is Rogale Świętomarczyńskie. They're Świętomarczyńskie croissants, which are these. They're filled with a sweet filling and they're very good. This castle started as a small residence that was then incorporated into the city 
And in 1337, Kazimierz Wielki started rebuilding this palace into much, much bigger here on the castle hill. Unfortunately, during World War II, this castle was heavily destroyed and has been since rebuilt to house museum. You have so much history where I'm standing here. Behind me, you could see the Royal Castle. To my right is the National Museum if you want to learn more about the history and see many important artifacts. And here is a statue dedicated to the fallen soldiers in one of the many wars. I'm here in Plac Wolności, very open square, just north of the old town. A lot of museums here. This one, for example, is an old palace of a noble family called Raczyński, and it's been turned into a library. traditional dish from Poznan. It is kishikim, a must when you come here. So these are baked potatoes with cottage cheese and mixed with onions and chives. Let's dig in. Bon appetit. That was traditional Poznanski food. Very good, I highly recommend. Check out Pirabar. And speaking of food, there's two museums I recommend you guys check out. It's the Croissant Museum where you can learn about the croissants Święto Marczyńskie and the Cro Museum of Pira where you can learn about the history of Pira and how it gained popularity here in Poznań. Behind me is the Imperial Castle, built for William II, an Emperor of Germany. The castle is now being used as a museum which you can check out and learn about the history. Also near the castle is the Enigma statue and the Enigma Museum, which is a code used by the Germans during the World War War, which one of the students here in the University of in Poznań broke. Well, if I'm gonna tell you everything about my beautiful country, I might as well tell you about this. This is a kashtan, it falls from a tree. So my grandma's remedy, you put these under your pillow to, so you can sleep better at night. Okay, we're here in Stare Brovar. This used to be a brewery turned into a shopping mall. Even if you're not a shopaholic, I suggest you visit here as this was voted one of the best medium-sized shopping malls in the world. Let's go have a look inside, shall we?
and my adventure here in Poznan is coming to an end. It's been a fun ride. The last few days have been amazing as I travel around Poland. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I hope you guys enjoy Poznan. I hope you guys join me next week as I visit Wrocław. That is all for me today. Dziękuję wszystkim za oglądanie. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and hit the notification button so you don't miss my videos. And I'll see you guys next week from Wrocław. Bye.